Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I want to discuss Pavel Zaka in this video. You know, there's been a lot of uh, rumors going around that a lot of teams have had interest in him, and now there's this rumor going around that he could be meant, he could be going in a trade to the Vancouver Canucks for Connor Garland. So I want to discuss that all in this trade, see if it's worth it for the Devils to go this route to uh, trade Zaka. So please stay with me throughout. Uh, Elliot Friedman was on his 32 Thoughts article, and he mentioned that a couple of teams through the league have expressed interest in Zaka. He didn't go into detail of what teams, but he said that there is interest growing in Pavel Zaka. Uh, he went on to say that he's on pace for a career season. He has one season of RFA eligibility remaining and will be able to file for arbitration this summer. He's subject to the old rule for qualifying offers, which means his $3 million salary is what he'll need to be offered to maintain his rights. Um, during one of the games, uh, Jeff Marrick was saying in intermission that the Vancouver Canucks have interest in Pavel Zaka and that New Jersey and Vancouver could be discussing a trade that involves Pavel Zaka in exchange for Connor Garland. So I want to go into detail and discuss these two players, um, see if it's worth it for the Devils to go this route. Uh, Pavel Zaka is still young, 24 years old. He's listed as a center left wing, and we, you know, Devils fans have seen him play both center and left wing. And, um, you know, he started playing center, then we uh, moved him over to the wing to see if he can get some production going. But, you know, hasn't really worked out as Devils fans expected to what we drafted him from. Um, he's 6'3, 210 pounds, so he's got a big solid frame. But with him, he doesn't use it all the time. You know, uh, we've seen him throw his body around, but there's also been some plays where, you know, I'm old school, a big hit can change the game and the momentum swing of a game, and you see him lining up someone, and he's able to crack someone really good, and he'll just stick check them and, and go away from them. So, you know, I he's one of those frames where you wish he was more of a power forward where he would lay people out, but, um, you know, he does hit, but not too much. I don't expect too much if, for the team who's going to try to trade for him. Uh, he's a 2015 first-round pick, sixth overall. Um, currently his contract is for 2.25 million AAV. So it's very affordable for any team heading into the, to, to the playoffs this year, especially going close, closer to the trade deadline. Um, this season he's played in 46 games, 12 goals, 11 assists, 23 points. And last season was his best year, 2020, 2021. He played in 50 games, 17 goals, 18 assists for 35 points. Um, his career, he's played in 362 games. 66 goals, 100 assists for 166 points. Now looking over to Connor Garland. Connor Garland is 25 years old. Same kind of age as Zaka. Zaka's 24, Garland's 25. Uh, Garland's lifted, listed as a left wing, right wing. 5'10", 165 pounds, and he was drafted the same year as Zaka, uh, but he was drafted in the fifth round from the Coyotes. And his current contract is paying him with an av annual average of 4.95 for another couple of years. So... If we do get him, we have him at that rate for the next couple of years. Um, looking at his season this year, uh, kind of along the same lines as Zaka uh, in numbers, uh, 44 games played, 11 goals, 15 assists, 26 points. Zaka's 23 points. Um, kind of along the same line in goals, Zaka has 12, Garland has 11. And for his career, he's played in 208 games, 58 goals, 64 assists for 122 points. So he's played a lot less games than uh, Zaka, 208 to 362, um, almost at the same amount of goals. Uh, Zaka's got 66, and um, Garland's got 58, and, um, you know, 166 to 122. So, you know, if Garland played the same amount of uh, games as, as Zaka, I think he'd have a lot more points than Zaka. But, um, you know, I like the way Garland plays. He's a small forward. But, um, you know, with the Devils now, they have a small team, so... If this trade involves us getting Garland for maybe picks and prospects, I'd be totally in on it. But I don't want to lose Zaka and gain the expense of Garland. You know, the Devils are a small team. They need bigger forwards. So to lose Zaka for a smaller forward doesn't make sense. But I like Garland's skill. He's got a good shot. Uh, he can score. He's got good moves out there. But, um, you know, he, and he plays physically. He plays with an edge. He plays with some jam. And, um, you know, the Devils do need that. They need that in their lineup. But, um you know, I don't think this trade one for one makes sense, but um, I do like that. I, I do like Garland. Uh, that the Devils are looking at him, but um, not 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 at the expense of Zaka. And I do think this trade will involve more moving parts. We'll just have to wait and see if if this is actually it. But 
if Vancouver doesn't do this or if the Devils don't do this, I think that, that the, uh, Pavel Zaka will get a lot of interest around the league. I think for a lot of teams that are going to lose out on players like Giroux and um, Toffoli, uh, those sort of players, I think they'll look to Zaka. I really do think so. And I think teams like Boston will have interest. I think teams like Calgary, who wants to add some secondary scoring, could look at Zaka. Um, maybe a team like LA. You know, there is teams out there that are looking to add more secondary scoring and more uh, forward depth. And I think Zaka could really help them out with that. So... I do believe uh, Elliot Friedman when he says that a lot of teams are expressing interest in Zaka. I think he's a great player, maybe on a better team um, that has that plays a different offensive style. Maybe you could see the best of Zaka. Maybe he he can find a team where he gets the puck more to shoot more. You know, through the past couple of seasons, his shot production has gone up, and um, you know he is shooting a bit more. That's why you're seeing his his. Uh, his points go up more. So I think Zaka, if if on the right team, maybe he can be more uh, more of a point producer. And I think teams will see that. I think teams will see that the Devils haven't been good the past couple of years. And maybe Zaka on a better team would be uh, offer more production to whatever team he goes to. So, you know, he's definitely one of our biggest trading chips if we're looking to trade Zaka. But, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see uh, leading up to the trade deadline what happens. So comment below what you think about this. What do you think about moving uh, Zaka for Garland? Or do you think Zaka will go to another team instead of to the Vancouver Canucks? Comment below and let me know. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.